Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle, Washington. Um, with a follow-up to, we have an earlier video on um, um, trans file transfer using um, local wireless network. And one of the things that appeared to me at the time was that this $20 router that's available at Amazon might do the job. And so we ordered one of those, and I want to follow up on that and found out some interesting things. And, well, the first part is, yes, indeed, it'll do the job. But there was a couple of things I didn't quite anticipate. But let me, uh, let me just show you uh, an overview of this as a supplement to what we learned last time and to point out something uh, that was not clear in the last video. And, in fact, I'm going to just show the issue here and then address it in a separate video. Uh, it's a subtlety, which is uh, w one of the key steps here in this whole process. So here's the page on Amazon uh, where you can buy this thing. It's $20, and it comes in a box. It looks like that. It's a really small thing. Uh, and what's in the box is the router itself, uh, a USB cable. Uh, I think that's a micro. And then some instructions. Now, these instructions, as it turns out, are mostly on how to configure the router, none of which we need to do for the job at hand. In other words, we're not really making... Uh, this device will do several things. You could actually plug, uh, you know, take your... Uh, take a... Um, uh, an internet cable from your route from your uh, modem on your uh, TV plug it into here and this would be a regular wireless router so forth and so these instructions that are in this manual are almost all devoted to how you configure the router to serve as a wireless router uh, um, to use in that purpose um, it does, the, the instructions actually do not cover file transfer. Now, for what we want, we can just ignore all of that. When we plug this thing in, it's going to work for what we want, just the way it is doing nothing. So let me go on down. The, let's see what I have here. This, this, this. Okay, so here's just the router with this U little short USB cable. Now, that cable can be plugged into your computer to power this, or you can... Um, to plug it into one of these little 5-volt, uh, uh, any kind of phone charger cubes. Now, and again, you just plug this thing in, and you're going to get, let's see, am I on the right router? Yeah. When you, when you just plug this in, you immediately see this network. It's called uh, TripMate Nano 7E something. So that network is there. And th that's all you do. You take it out of the box and plug it in, and that network shows up. And everything we did in the last video and article on file transfer, you're ready to go. $20 and you're done. Um, the One of the things interesting that I discovered, and I just hadn't tested this before, but the Apple's AirDrop method, AirDrop, if you're using Apple iPhones to Macintoshes and things like that, then often we transfer files just by AirDrop. But AirDrop, uh, but this is like a backup to AirDrop, uh, and AirDrop sometimes hangs up, and this thing works fast and really dependable. But here's the interesting thing I noticed, that AirDrop will work across this network. So if you have a, on the boat, you have a Mac, and you have a f iPhones and iPads and so forth, the first shot you could try is just using this internal network that cr this thing creates and just move everything around with AirDrop. Now, as soon as you go on to PCs, then I don't know what, what PCs have in the way of AirDrop. I, I haven't discovered that yet. Uh, they, they must have something compatible, but I don't know it yet. But here's one of the surprises I learned. This is a picture in the ads for this. In other words, if I go clear back here and look here, there's various pictures along the side here. You could zoom in in the advertisement for this. And in my earlier article, I used this picture. Now, I wasn't thinking at the time. I thought this was just an antenna that somehow pops out, an antenna for doing the wire transfer. This is not an antenna. And if I'd have read this, which I had not, it says seamlessly transfer photos and, and videos from your iOS Android devices. Oh, yeah, there's an Android app, but it works just fine for Androids, too. Uh, onto a connected USB flash drive. Now, what this is, this is not an antenna. This is actually a flash drive they've plugged in here. Uh, now, that turns out to be a crucial part of this device, as far as I can tell. 
So you need, if you want to start tra using this as a file transfer mode, it seems to me that you, now you have to plug in a USB drive here. Now these are very inexpensive these days for high capacity. So I just had one in my briefcase and I plugged in here and I've been using it and it works fine. But it does, now there may be a ways around this, I don't want to swear to this, but it looks to me like they intend you if, if, you, if you're using this for file transfer, they intend you to have this drive here. And this is then the headquarters for the files that you're sharing, this device here. This. Now, in, and the Hutu does have an app. Uh, it looks, it's called uh, Hutu TripMate. Hutu TripMate. There's a, uh, and that's a free app. And as you use it, you know, the other app people, some people were complaining about the advertisements popping up and so forth. This one doesn't have any advertisements popping up. The app itself, however, is a little more involved because it's used also to uh, program the router, at using it as a real router. So that's what I'm going to take a quick look at and then I'm done. But before doing that, I want to show uh, this. This is what, this is a picture of the phone, and these are files on the phone that I want to move to other devices. Now, once the files are here in the phone, then, um, then it's easy to move them around. It's, it's very easy to move them around. And the counterpart of that, using the file transfer app, which was in the, uh, whoops, which, excuse me, which was in the other one. Oh, wait a minute. I've got, I've got a mouse with it. It's very sensitive. Uh, the, this is the one from the file transfer app. And the file transfer app works perfectly fine with the Hutu. So you don't have to use their own app. You could use this uh, Hutu. Who, I mean this... Um, uh, it's called file transfer listed in the last video but they have their own app and one should certainly download it and maybe get used to it and I'm going to show that but here's the main point and the main point where I have to come back with another video in both of these this one and this one the question that the, the question is not at all obvious and not explained anywhere strangely enough is how do you get files into this folder right here from your phone so in other words if I download or somebody somebody emails me a file and I open up my email on the phone and I've got that file then how do I get that file into a place where I can start sharing it with one of these wireless networks now that step it, it, I want to show that and I'll show that for both these apps it's different the procedure is different for the two apps and uh, so I'll show that and let's see that's all I want to show from there and then I'll come back with that now this you, you recall what the here's the one at file transfer remember they work the same way you've got a got a URL an IP address that you plug in and then using the file transfer app this looks like this and you upload and download from here once you're onto a computer then it's very easy it's got upload and download so you don't have to worry about that it's the the trouble is how do you do that uploading and downloading into this folder from the iPhone or the Android and I'll show that later in a later video so that's what it looks like here and here's the tripmate one the tripmate one well they call it trip their app uh, their app has several names the file has several names you know and so forth so that I mean the um, the the wireless network let's see what it's called the wireless net well it's called tripmate nano and this is called tripmate nano so this but the app when you actually download it has a totally different name has a totally different name here it's called a Hutu tripmate plus uh, who yeah and so forth so we have to keep track of what that stuff is but this is this one and then you just explore here and uh, here's where if you want to say you want to add something to it no that's creating a folder oh, cancel this this to me this is a little more complex interface none of these are drag and drop none of these none of these things are drag and drop you have to either uh, download them this is warning please first select a folder to down so we're going to download something or upload something and that's done within this app this is a little more complicated than the other one um, 
but it's it, it, that's their app. You could also just use use a Hutu and just use this one right here, and that works fine. So that is all I wanted to say about that. That, in other words, it does work fine. It's obviously worth twenty dollars. Here's something interesting. Let me put. Okay, yeah. This Hutu company. Here's if you go to their web page. If you go to their web page, they actually don't even have this little Hutu. Uh, router on there they actually that's not one of their major products here's one of their major products which is really interesting it's a flash drive that will certainly do the job of this one but it's expensive it's uh, 32 dollars 32 gigabytes but look at this this will fit right onto an iphone so you could actually transfer these files on your boat from one device to the other from your phone from an iphone Androids already have USB, so that's not an issue. But an iPhone, you just have this, uh, what do they call this, lightning connector? I'm not sure, at the bottom of the phone. So this is a USB device, uh, 32 gigabytes hard drive, that'll fit right onto a phone. And that brings us back and uh, brings us back to this other issue about how you move these files around on the phone. So I'll do that. So this would be the equivalent of what we used to call sneaker net. Uh, in the office when the uh, none of the networking was all childish and just getting started and so forth and this is the way we move things around you copy it onto one of these thumb drives walk across a room and put it in another computer all right I'll stop there and later come back with this uh, how to man manipulate those folders but all in all this Hutu I think if I were going offshore and had like a technical boat with a lot of files or a lot of people on the boat and you just want to share, share files, music, videos, pictures that you've taken and you want to share them, even just a point of one guy gets a really good picture and you want to give it to somebody else and so forth, it's a nice way to do it with this $20 wireless network.